Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Well, recently on a video I shared with you um, using the new square pillow box die, which makes really cute square boxes, which we love, um, but you can actually make a double length one. So you can turn it into a rectangle, but a long rectangle box. And this is really quite a good um, size for gifts. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So I've gone ahead and cut out using the framelit, um, I've gone ahead and cut out the um, four of the pieces in the, um, this is in the thick Whisper White cardstock because I wanted a really nice um, sturdy box. And I'm going to just go ahead and reinforce the score lines that are going long ways. Now I'm going to reinforce all the score lines. Um, but not the middle ones and you'll see what I mean in a moment so don't get carried away and do all of them until you've got yourself sorted out so just do those ones first now the next thing I'm going to do is to glue these two pieces together now you can glue them like this but you can get a little tiny hole there if you do that so I'm going to suggest you go just a little bit further in and I'm just going to use Tombow glue Put it on there and slide that over so it's a little bit further in. Now you, oops. Now you want to make sure that your box is going to match up with the other piece. So at this point I would actually glue on this bottom piece. So I'm putting glue onto the flap where you could use tearing tape. And I'm going to glue that on there. I'm going to put glue onto this flap and also glue onto here and I've just realised I should have glued that first so I'm just going to say to you <laughs> don't do it like I'm doing it it's that do, do what I do not what I say glue those two pieces on first then start to glue them together I've got away with it <laughs> but can, can, shall I say that again so that makes sense so what you're going to do not what I did what you're going to do is you're going to glue the four pieces together with the flaps and then move them up and then stick two over the top of these two. So you're going to glue those two pieces together and those two pieces together and then you're going to glue those two onto those two. That will keep it all lined up and you won't have to sneak it underneath like I just did, but that will work just fine. And I think that is um, looks as if that's lined up quite nicely. So this is how you get your large pillow box shape. At this point here, I'm going to just reinforce those end pieces. And that's just by pinching where those reinforced, reinforced pieces are. The reason I'm doing it now before I stamp is just in case any of the ink isn't dry, I don't want to smudge it. So I'm just going to do that. Now we have laid down flat again. Now I'm going to stamp on some images and I'm going to use the Wonderland stamp set. Um, this has got some nice greetings on and I'm going to use these trees. Now the other one I did in Garden Green this one just get some more grid paper so I don't make a, a mess and this one I'm actually going to stamp in um, old olive so I folded it in half I'm not worrying too much about the middle so I'm stamping on it but I'm not worrying if it's not even because that's going to be covered and I'm putting my trees at different heights And I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to keep my trees all going in the same direction. So I've opened that up. And 
then going to take, leave, set that aside for a minute, and I'm going to do my other stamping. So I'm going to take, um, this is happy, happy, happy. So these, although they're Christmassy, um, some of them are Christmassy images. My husband has a birthday in December. So I'm going to do happy, happy, happy birthday to you. I'm going to stamp that again in the old olive. And I'm going to punch it out with the note tag. Now here's a little um, trick that you can do with the note tag. So I'm going to punch another one out. I'm going to cut it in half. And then with some Tombow. I'm just going to make a layer. Now it's going like that. Whoops. So the nice thing about Tombow is you have wiggle room. While it's drying, you can get it perfectly lined up. So I'm going to have it like that and like that. And I'm going to punch another one in the whisper white. And turn that over. That gives us somewhere to write on the back. And then just gives us a little bit of a layer. So just a little, little trick. And I'll bring in my hand punch and just punch a little hole so that we can attach that. Okay. And then we've got another little piece to um, to punch to stamp rather. And that's this little image here. And I'm going to do this um, in the marker to stamp technique. So I'm using my old olive marker to ink up the leaves. And then the pine cone I'm using early espresso. Stamp that down. That's all our stamping done. And then I'm going to use, um, this is the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch. And I'm just going to build up with some different punches. This is the one and a half. It's a bit punch heavy and you don't need to do this many punches if you don't want to. But if you've got your punches sitting there, why not get them out and use them? Um, so that was the scallop was the one and three quarter and this is the two inch circle and I'm going to glue that one onto there, that one onto there and then I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals And pop that one onto there. Pretty. Okay. So back to our project, and we're ready to um, to put that together. So I'm going to put some Tombow glue on here. Now you could do this with tearing tape, but the trick is to go right to the end with your adhesive. Don't miss any bits. And I'm just going to fold that in half and that should line up nicely. And then if we pop that open, there's our pillow box, our extended pillow box. Now to cover up this piece here, Um, which doesn't look very neat. I'm going to do a belly band and um, this is, what have we got here, about 10 inches uh, by, let's give you all the measurements, 10 inches by about 2 inches. 
this is wider, I noticed, than the one I did last time. So I'm just going to put a bit of tearing tape on there. And I'm squishing that down a little bit because I don't want that to move around too much. Um, but it'll pop, the, the, the pillow box will pop back up again afterwards. So, put that on straight. So I just need to put my hand inside and just pop that back up again. There we go. And we're going to... Anything that I'm putting on here now, I'm going to just give it give that a gentle curve on the back and that will help it glue on. I'm going to glue that there. Oh, I popped it again, popped it down again. There we go. And then this one here. I think I used white baker's twine, but as I've got some of this cording thread on here. And what you could do, in fact, is I'll pop a little hole on the belly band piece. Um, turn my twine there. that through. Ooh. <laughs> Knock my Tombow onto the floor. That's all part of the instructions. <laughs> and I'm just going to tie that round now. There we go, that looks good. And as I say, um, you can, you could secure that there. That what I'll do is just to show you. You could put, um, just put a little dimensional underneath. Could do one at each end, and then that'll stop that moving about. You can just leave that there, and it'll keep it keep it neat. So that's a kind of a birthdayish version. Are we noticing that <laughs> my, um, if I'm having my tag that way, that that my and my tree, trees that way. This is kind of growing upwards. I think it should be growing downwards. But I've, I've noticed I've done that on the other one as well. Upward growing fir cones. So there's old olive and garden green. So let me know which is your favourite green for this project and whether you like the extended pillow box. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's craft room today. Look forward to welcoming you back again soon.